How are you going to convince the Democrats throughout this country, once you get the nomination, to vote for you? I just went out there and told them what I thought. And said to them, if you give me a chance, I'm always going to tell you the truth. Whether you like it or not, it's up to you, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Do you think that can happen across... Of course I think it can happen across the country, because if I didn't, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Yep. It had my 16th time to New Hampshire since January. I am not coming here for my health, brother. <laughs> All right? This is not just... It's not just because I like the weather, okay? I mean, it, it, I'm, I'm coming up here because I absolutely believe it, and I think I can win. Yeah. Um, I am not in this for the experience. Okay? This is not something you do, at least me, that you do for the experience. You do it because you absolutely believe you can make a difference in your country and that you can win. Yeah. I, I, I think this. I think the American people, after eight years of Barack Obama, do not want a third term of Barack Obama. No uh, and, and Hillary Clinton... Yeah. Hillary Clinton, if she beats Bernie Sanders, um, <laughs> will be a third term of Barack Obama. Yeah. She agrees with him on the Iran deal. And I will tell you, I listened to her, Hillary Clinton, I listened to her economic speech. Her plan to create jobs is to give paid sick leave and to increase the minimum wage. Now, I, I, don't, I never saw sick leave create a job <laughs> or be the cause for creating a job. When I listen to Hillary Clinton now, I could swear I'm listening to the woman across the border from here, Elizabeth Warren in Massachusetts. Yep. Okay, she, well, it's true, she's moving further and further to the left because she is afraid of Bernie Sanders. And what she, and, and she has every right to be, by the way, because remember something, she ran eight years ago and got beat to her left by Barack Obama. She didn't want that to happen again. And so I think by the time she gets done running to her left to get the nomination, the American people are getting the real good sense of who she is. Elections are choices, is my point. They are not in the abstract. It's not just looking at one candidate, do I like him or her or don't I? It is a choice. We, we don't get to just pick whoever we want. Eventually there'll be a Republican nominee and a Democratic nominee, and then it's a choice. In my case, in 09, as you'll recall, it was a Republican nominee, a Democratic nominee, and an independent who had been a Republican which made it even harder for me. This is a guy who served in a Republican administration. So votes that he took, he was taking off of the Republican side of the ledger and we won anyway. Um, I think at that point, let's assume we get to July, August of 2016, and I'm the Republican nominee for president, and let's assume that Mrs. Clinton makes her way, and she's the Democratic nominee for president, then there's gonna be a choice between Hillary Clinton and Chris Christie, and I will tell you this, I feel good about my chances.